Moving on to Tunisia now, where ahead of the October presidential election, another key opposition leader has been arrested. The head of Tunisia's Republican Party, Lotfi Marahi, was arrested on Wednesday on the suspicion of money laundering. The arrest comes just days after Marahi announced his intention to run for the upcoming presidential election. Now, he has been accused of laundering money and opening bank accounts abroad without a license from the central bank. Now, Mrahi is one of the most prominent critics of Tunisia's president, Kais Sayed, who faces allegations of crushing dissent and opposition. Many, president, uh, many of President Sayed's rivals have already been put behind bars. Critics accuse Sayed's government of exerting pressure on the judiciary to track down poll rivals so that he could comfortably win a second term. The arrested opposition leaders include the leader of the Free Constitutional Party and a prominent presidential candidate, Abir Moussi. Now, many other major opponents have also been detained since last year on charges of conspiring against the state security. Now, these also include businessmen as well as journalists. As per reports, more than 60 journalists, lawyers and political opponents have been put in jail in Tunisia. In May of this year, hundreds of lawyers and activists protested in the capital, Tunis, over the arrests of two lawyers and a raid on the National Bar Association. Now, the opposition fears that the upcoming presidential election will not be fair unless all of the imprisoned politicians are released. They also complain that the media in Tunisia faces extreme pressure from the government now, President Sayed has not officially announced his candidacy for the election expected on the 6th of October, but he is widely expected to seek a second term. Now, last year, he remarked that he will not hand power to what he called the uh, non-patriots. Now, Sayed was elected in 2019. In two years, he declared an emergency, fired the prime minister, dissolved the parliament, and assumed all executive power. He later gave himself powers to rule and legislate by decree and seize control over the judiciary. The opposition described his move as a coup. His actions have been seen as a further blow to democracy in Tunisia, a country that was the birthplace of the 2011 Arab Spring. The widespread protests across the Arab world were against autocracy. Though initially many welcomed Sayed's reign, as they saw it as an end to the years of deadlocked political system, however, now his rule is seen to be taking Tunisia back to the days of autocracy. Apart from this, Tunisian economy is also facing significant financing constraints. Unemployment stands at 15%, and about 4 million of the country's 12 million people live in poverty. While most opinion polls in Tunisia still show Sayed as widely popular, they are considered to be inaccurate. If Sayed decides to run for the presidency, it will be the voters' first chance to evaluate his tenure amid an economic crisis and the drift into authoritarianism. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support, and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. On the today, the T20 World Cup run by the US moved across to the West Indies more than you expect. Thank you.
Hello and welcome to First Coast America. I'm Eric Hamm, coming to you live from the nation's capital in Washington, D.C.